Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff is firing verbal shots at Red Bull CEO Oliver Mintzlaff. Toto's warning? Don't be too sure that Max Verstappen will be a Red Bull driver next season. Let's have a look. As the end of the current regulation cycle comes closer, the once unshakable bond between Red Bull and Max Verstappen seems to be showing cracks. Toto Wolff has been making moves to entice Verstappen away from the Milton Keynes-based squad. While Verstappen is tied to Red Bull until 2028 and has repeatedly voiced his loyalty to the team, Wolff isn't backing down from publicly wooing the reigning world champion. Oliver Mintzlaff isn't taking Wolff's public flirting lightly. He fired back, telling the Austrian to mind his own business and focus on Mercedes' problems, as they've got, quote-unquote, enough of those to deal with. He made it clear, leave his driver alone. Here's what he told German publication Bild. I understand the pressure that Toto Wolff and perhaps other teams are under after years of being second to none, but I think Mr. Wolff should concentrate on his challenges. He has enough of them. It's also a matter of respect to keep talking about other teams' personnel. That is not appropriate. People are talking about a massive 150 million euro contract offer extended to Verstappen, hot off the heels of Wolff's keen interest in signing the Dutch driver. But Verstappen himself has made it clear that money isn't the main motivator for him. He's not one to join a team just for the paycheck, emphasizing that he would get grumpy if he can't win. He told media in Miami, At the end of the day, it's not about money for me. I'm already very happy, of course, with what I'm having at the team. It's really important about having the quickest car, and of course a good environment. This is what we have currently, and that's also what I asked for. As long as the environment is right and we have the quickest car, then it's quite straightforward. At the end of the day, even if let's say that would be the case, 150 million, money is not going to be the differentiator for me to go somewhere. I'm happy with what I'm earning already. It's about performance. I know myself that if I will be driving for P5 or P6, you get quite grumpy with yourself. So it's always about performance at the end of the day. I mean, everyone knows that. Toto also knows that. Mintzlaff says that he isn't worried at all about Toto Wolff's efforts and Mercedes' open checkbook. He pointed out that there's a strong alignment of mindset between the driver and Red Bull. He is a thoroughbred racer and wants to win every race, every qualifying, and every training session. This connects us. It's in his and our DNA, and he finds the perfect conditions for this with us. We have created a unique setup and built the best car in Formula 1. Max still has a long-term contract here and hasn't said a word that he doesn't want to fulfill it. I'm not at all worried that he's considering a move. Things just have to calm down again now. That's what Max wants, and that's what we want too. You also need that if you want to be successful in the long term in sport, whether in football or in Formula 1. With Max Verstappen and Red Bull Racing maintaining their dominance in Formula 1, and Verstappen eyeing a potential fourth consecutive world championship win, Mintzlaff sees no compelling reason for Verstappen to leave the team and join a rival. As I said before, Max wants the fastest car, and we have it, he said. Max wants to be world champion, and with us, he has the best chance. Max is a loyal guy. He knows that Christian and Helmet have always given him their trust. He appreciates that. Moreover, Red Bull is just a great brand with which he can identify excellently. So there are many reasons for him to stay. When Wolf was confronted about Mintzlaff's remarks after the Miami Grand Prix, he seemed surprised, claiming he knew nothing about it. I don't know what the guy has commented on, he told the media in his post-race debrief. There's no relevance to me. Despite being told to back off, it seems Toto Wolf still has one eye fixed on Red Bull star Max Verstappen, especially when it comes to deciding his lineup for 2025. He said, I think we want to take our time, see where Max's thinking goes, and at the same time, monitor the other drivers. We're a little bit in observation mode at the moment. I think for all of the teams here, he is key. As I've said before, I don't think he should leave in 2025. He is the top driver at the moment and has to make a decision. Perhaps there is not even a decision to make, and things will stay as they are. But that is no guide for us. Red Bull's CEO had more to say about Verstappen, as reported by Sky Deutschland. According to Mintzlaff, Verstappen is a lock at Red Bull for next season with 1,000% certainty. Wolf's response to this? 1,000%? I wouldn't make such a statement. Because in life, there is only 100%. There is no more. It is redundant. Toto Wolf brushed off rumors about a Monday meeting with a Dutchman, denying any such appointment happened. When pressed about meetings on other days of the week, he kept his mouth shut, adding plenty of mystery to the situation. Amidst the turmoil at Red Bull Racing, the attention of several team members has shifted towards other Formula One teams. 
Zach Brown, CEO of McLaren, has noted an influx of CVs from Red Bull employees, indicating a potential talent migration. Now, Toto Wolff has confirmed that his team is also experiencing a same surge in interest from Red Bull's personnel, reflecting the unsettled atmosphere within the Austrian team. With the ongoing situation surrounding Christian Horner, Red Bull Racing has been in a state of imbalance for a while. This has provoked several team members to reconsider their options. For instance, it's been confirmed that Adrian Newey will depart from the team next year, adding to the shakeup. And as we've talked about, Max Verstappen's discussions with Mercedes give Red Bull something else to think about. Total Wolf is taking a strategic approach to the influx of CVs from Red Bull personnel to Mercedes. While acknowledging the interest, he's not actively seeking to recruit from Red Bull. Instead, Wolf is prioritizing the development of talent within Mercedes, especially on the engineering side. He said, I mean, it goes through all of the levers, but I would say this is not anything out of the extraordinary. People change teams and want to change the environment, so I have come to the point that I am not really interested in what's going on there with the leadership. I'm not listening to anything anymore. I think it's important for us to look at our team and see, develop the strong people, and hopefully get some interesting, competent people from other teams into Mercedes and provide an exciting journey to recovery, and the Austrians are living idiots. As for their progress with winning over Adrian Newey's heart, Toto had this to say, Adrian is an icon of the sport, and I think he said he doesn't know yet what to do, and I don't know what influence that has on us. Under pressure principal Christian Horner has fired back at Toto Wolf amid suggestions of a staff exodus from Red Bull Racing. Horner believes that the chaos at the Austrian team is not just internal, but also influenced by external factors. He's convinced that other F1 teams, namely McLaren and Mercedes, are deliberately trying to destabilize Red Bull, saying, I think we know there are two candidates involved. They talk a lot. And look, I'm not going to get Zach in for a tit for that, but I'd be more focused on Toto's own issues that he has. Christian Horner has brushed off concerns about Red Bull racing staff applying to McLaren, saying that he's not bothered by this narrative. Of course, there's always going to be movement between teams. I don't know how many people we've employed from McLaren this year, or how many people we've employed in Mercedes. We've taken 220 people. 220 into Red Bull powertrains, so when we're talking about losing people, I'd be a bit more worried about the 220, not maybe one or two. It's been said that Red Bull sporting director Jonathan Wheatley is open to taking on a role as team boss at another Formula One team since last weekend. On this issue, Horner said, There are rumors about everybody, so contracts between individuals and their terms and conditions are not something that we talk to the public about. What do you think? Is Christian Horner poisoning Red Bull from the inside, or are Toto Wolf and Zach Brown being immature and running a smear campaign on the sport's top team? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for the hottest F1 news.